Roscoe Lewis McKinney, Black Anatomist, born 1900, died 1978. In 1930, Roscoe Lewis McKinney became the first African American to earn a doctorate in anatomy. He established the anatomy department within the Medical College of Howard University and served as its chairman for 17 years. For a half century, McKinney continued at Howard and served abroad in stints as an instructor in Iraq, India, and Vietnam. Roscoe Lewis McKinney was born on February 8, 1900, in Washington, D.C., the son of Lewis and Blanche Hunt McKinney. Lewis McKinney worked for the United, United States Government Printing Office, and the McKinney sent their son to public schools in the area. During World War I, McKinney served in the U.S. Army. Later, he earned his Bachelor's of Science degree from Bates College in Lewiston, Maine, in 1921. For the two years following, from 1921 to 1923, he taught biology at Morehouse College in Atlanta. Then, in 1923, he returned to his native city to become an instructor in zoology at Howard University. Thus began an involvement with Howard that would continue until his death 55 years later. Late in the 1920s, McKinney began his doctoral work at the University of Chicago on a Rockefeller Foundation scholarship. Sorry, on a Rockefeller Foundation fellowship. He earned his degree in 1930 with a dissertation entitled Studies on Fibers in Tissue Culture 3: The Development of Reticulum into Collagenous Fibers in the Cultures of Adult Rabbit Lymph Nodes. A reticulum is a network of cells in an organ. Collagenous refers to collagen, a type of protein in the tissue connecting bones. Culture in this context refers to living cells that have been cultivated for scientific study, and lymph nodes filter lymph, a plasma-like fluid that bathes the tissues and, it's, and is ultimately discharged into the blood. McKinney was the first African American to earn a PhD in anatomy. Having completed his doctoral work, McKinney in 1930 became a professor in, of anatomy at Howard. In fact, he established the anatomy department within the College of Medicine and served as its chairman from 1930 to 1947. In 1931, he became vice dean of the College of Medicine, a position he held concurrent with his de department chairmanship until 1946. From 1955 to 1956, McKinney served as a full Bright Fellow in Baghdad, Iraq. At Baghdad's Royal College of Medicine, McKinney worked as a professor of microscopic anatomy, and he impressed the Iraqi government so much that they invited him back to teach for another year, from 1956 to 1957. During this era, Iraq was ruled by a king, and the United States counted it as an ally. A year after McKinney's departure, however, an army coup deposed the king. McKinney returned to Howard, but in 1960, the United States Department of State asked him to take another overseas assignment. This time, he would be working as an instructor at the Osmania Medical College in Hyder Abadad in south-central India. Once again, McKinney was given a post to an exotic locale. Hyder Labad had been the site of an ancient Hindu civilization until the Muslim Empire of the Mughals overran it in the 17th century, and he served there for nearly three years until 1962. After spending most of the 1960s at Howard, McKinney in 1969 received an appointment to an even more easterly venue. This one fraught with greater possibilities of danger, Vietnam. The American military involvement in the country was near its height, but life in the capital of Saigon continued with some semblance of order. 
From 1969 to 1971, McKinney served as a consultant in anatomy at the University of Saigon. After stepping down as chairman of the anatomy department in 1947, McKinney continued as a professor at Howard for another 21 years until 1968. In that year, he retired and became an emeritus professor, but in 1971, after his return from Vietnam, he went back to active teaching. McKinney continued teaching until 1976, just two years before his death. In 1952, the editor, editors of the textbook of histology incorporated McKinney's 1930 doctoral work on reticulum development in their textbook. Two tissue samples of his were included in Gray's Anatomy, the foremost text for anatomists for many years. Within the community of black American scientists, McKinney was recognized not only for founding the anatomy department at Howard, but for establishing there the first tissue culture laboratory in the Washington area. Numerous investigators in tissue culture technique came to the lab for help and advice. Other areas of McKinney's research included tissue culture cyto cytology, the study of cells, and micro cinematography, the use of motion picture cameras at the microscopic level to capture cell movements. He was also interested in the use of radioactive isotopes, a combination of atoms which are differing with differing physical properties but nearly identical behavior in cell and tissue work. In addition, McKinney studied the development of connective tissue, such as ligaments, in vitro, that is, in an artificially maintained environment outside the living body. McKinney married Ethel James in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, on August 1, 1937. The couple had four children, Roscoe, Arthur, Francis, and Jacqueline. McKinney's professional memberships included the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the American Association of Anatomists, Beta Kappa Chi, Omega Psi, Omega Psi Phi, Phi Beta Kappa Sigma Xi, and the Tissue Culture Association. His civic involvements included the PTA, Parent Teachers Association, and the Civil Air Patrol, in which he was an officer. McKinney belonged to the Congregationalist Church, and his interests included reading, camping, swimming, and photography. He died in Washington on September 30th, 1978. Citations are in the description.